Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be drawing a Kaya Lily or Kala Lily, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do is by starting off uh, drawing a V shape and then we're going to uh, curve it round to create the main petals of the lily. And you can see at the top we're going to create a little notch because if you've seen these flowers before they've got a bit that sort of comes out a little bit um, and so you can see kind of the general shape of the flower that we're going to be drawing so make the petals quite wide um, and we're just going to draw some leaves as well so yeah I'm just making it a bit wider And so this time around we're going to move away from paint and actually use soft pastels. Um, so if you've never used it before, uh, just expect to get your fingers very messy. Uh, we're going to start off by using sort of this uh, shade of yellow um, to just colour in on that bit and then use these greens um, to just layer right on. So just get your fingers and just start blending. Best way of doing this would be to sort of uh, blend from the dark outwards. Um, that's always worked for me. Um, and the beauty about soft pastels is that you can just uh, layer on the colours uh, and then just blend them out. And then we're going to use a bit of pink just for the outside just to add a pop of colour. And then just blend it out. The beauty about soft pastels is that it can create quite a uh, velvety texture um, to whatever you draw and that's why I quite like working with it. And then just use a little bit of the white to um, help with the blending because sometimes the colours can be a bit harsh um, so white just really helps. Uh, balance it out a bit and for the middle uh, stalk of the lily we are just going to uh, shade it in yellow and then use a bit of more of an orangey shade and a bit of green just to uh, dot um, along the stalk and we're not uh, not going to blend that in just to create the illusion of what the stalk would be like in real life and then we're just going to use some green, um, different shades of green, just to uh, shade in the leaves. Um, and then remember, just as before, the bit where you have overlapping leaves, um, make that little bit a little bit darker by adding in a bit more black, um, so that when you do blend it out, um, it creates a bit more of a depth to your drawing. I'm going to use sort of a lighter shade of green just to create different colours within the leaf. The thing with soft pastels is um, if you've not worked with it a lot before, it can create um, less sort of sharp edges, but you can always go back over it in the soft pastels to make it a bit more uh, defined. So I'm just adding in extra colours to the actual lily itself to create a bit more depth and adding in a little bit of black to the corner um, just to show the shadowing. And remember, that's you can see where the uh, petals are folding over, so just make sure you add a little bit of uh, darker shades underneath it. Um, just to create the illusion of the shadow. And then I'm just using a bit of white just to create some highlights as always. Um, now you can leave that as it is or, and add a bit more detail, uh, but um, I wanted to create a black uh, background, so I'm just using a bit of black uh, soft pastel just to make the flower stand out. In general but you can see uh, what I mean about layering colors so even with you um, using the soft pastel to um, sort of make the strokes and even after blending it um, there are still sort of gaps within the paper um, and that's why soft pastels are quite good if you want to layer your colors on 
um, in order to draw it. And you can use whatever background you colour you use um, to define the edges of what you've drawn as well. We're nearly there, so I'm just using a little bit of yellow to um, add a bit more colour to the leaves. Always keep tissues handy as well, just because um, the mistake you can make is um, the colour that you have already blended. For example, the black, um, if you don't sort of wipe your fingers clean, um, before moving on to another part, that colour will then go on to the part that you're just about to blend in. Or you can use tissues um, to blend the colours in as well. Um, so I'm just creating a little bit more shadowing. And this is the satisfying bit, uh, is taking the tape off and seeing that crisp line. And one thing you must remember when working with soft pastels is always to use fixing spray. Otherwise, um, the colours will just easily come off the paper um, when you put it with something else. And there you go. We've now created a Kaya Lily. Uh, so I hope you like that video. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon.